So today we're having a little bit of a shorter tutorial because I'm going to show you how to do a more natural brow on almost no brow. So this brow is going to turn into that brow. So let's start. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better when I work on my brow. So let's start. Ooh. Okay, so hopefully you can see what I'm doing now. I'm going to turn my head a little bit this way so you can see all the time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this little brow pomade from Anastasia and I'm actually gonna use a eyeliner pencil from Ingla. It's my favorite eyeliner pencil. It's called 42T. So we're gonna use that. Uh, and I also have a little bit of tissue paper if I need to take off product or something. So let's start. Uh, I also have like a regular brow brush from Anastasia just to like brush the hairs in my brow. So we're gonna start with that. And let's, let's freaking start, well, shouldn't we? Okay, so what we do is we're gonna make tiny hairs in the brow. Okay, so we're gonna do tiny hairs in the brow. And we're gonna go in the direction that the hair grows. Okay, so we're doing it like this. I hope you see it. There we go. So do it like that first. Not the most perfect <laughs> thing, but it works. Let's keep going. So I'm actually going pretty far, as you can see, and also you can see my wonderful blue vein right here. Okay, so we've done that. Now I'm going to the front of the brow. So I'm going to start right here, and I'm going to brush it a little bit upwards. There we go. And I'm going to make hairs going right this, like that, straight up almost. I always do like a smaller one in the end, just like a tinier one, let's see, and there we go, and you see the hairs that I drew right now, they are pretty dark, right? So what I do is I just brush them a little bit like that, so yes, so they get a little bit more natural. So now I brushed the hairs. Perfect. Brush, brush, brush. And what I do then is I brush the hairs downwards like that. It looks a little bit funny because now we're going to work with this part of the brow. Okay, so what I do is I start like where my brow is, where it should be the highest point of the brow, and it's right there. So I start there. And I draw tiny hairs like I've done with everything else. And I keep doing them like I drag them in the direction of the hairs, on my actual hairs. And I, you can also do this a little bit on the top too if you feel like they get super strong. Actually, I think they did not get strong enough here, right there. There we go, a little bit better. Almost, it's getting there. And when I brush my hair back, like back to their regular place, I do this, I just go 
couple of strands more so I get like the perfect brow that I want that I want I can talk my gosh so I just draw a couple of more strands there we go so now we're doing the last hard part of this so now we're going to start to draw this way instead so I'm starting right here and I go up drawing small strands it looks weird so I cr I'm crossing them over these hairs looks a little bit strange but it will look good in the end I promise and I just draw keep drawing them like downwards it looks you'll see how it looks doesn't really matter if they're not attached to the other hairs. There we go. I'm actually gonna brush this aside a little bit because sometimes this part becomes really dark and this very light. So I'm just gonna draw a little bit of hairs right in here too. So we don't get like a hole here. There we go. That looks a little bit weird right there. I'm going to fix that. So when you have brushed your hairs straight like in the correct way that you want them again I'm gonna brush them a little bit more it's easier for you to see what needs to be done so you see I have a little bit less hairs here so we need to correct that there we go so what I do next is I brush the brow hairs with some clear brow gel. It's the one from Anastasia. So let's do that. And first, I brush the hairs downward like that. And then I brush them up because they will hold a lot better if you brush them down first. And then I brush everything up because we want a little bit of a bushy brow going on. Okay, there we go. Bushy brows. And the last thing I do is I use a little bit of the Brow Pro palette from Anastasia as well. And for me, I actually use a little bit of this dark brown color, the dark brown eyebrow powder. So I do that because as you see, this part where I have real hairs look a little bit darker than this fake part, right? <laughs> so we need to fix that. <laughs> so I still use the liner brush and I take that one into the powder and I just do like a tiny bit of dark, darker strands. So I do a couple of strands that are darker. And these strands, you just put them wherever you feel like you need them. Go down a little bit. Don't do everywhere though, because it will just look weird if you do it everywhere. We have a fake bushy brow. Cool, right? <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's how you do a little bit more of a natural bushy eyebrow look if you have almost no brows or as if, like me, I don't have the back of my brows, so crap. And I bet you can do this on your entire brow too, if you don't have any brows at all. And let me know if this was helpful, or if you hated it, please don't hate it. But <laughs> if you like this video, please click subscribe, and don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Bye! Uh, let's see, I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> and I failed a little bit. A couple of more strands. Great. I fucked up again. I have a natural bussy, bush... Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> uh.